Hi everyone. So in today's video, we'll see how uh, you can enable Kubernetes using Docker desktop. So let's say if you're just starting up with Kubernetes or you want to just, uh, you know, deploy some jobs or pods in Kubernetes in your local machine, and you just want to play around. So the best way to enable Kubernetes is to use Docker desktop. So firstly, download the Docker desktop app if you haven't already. So I already have this Docker desktop running in my system. So once you download it, just go to the settings. So this is where you find the settings button. Then from here, you come to the Kubernetes. So you come, you click on the Kubernetes and then you see the option to enable Kubernetes, right? Because I've already enabled it. So it's already checked for you it will not be checked. It'll be unchecked. So just check this and then just click on the apply and restart. So it'll restart your system and it'll install the single node cluster, uh, Kubernetes single node cluster in your um, system. So the Kubernetes will be running inside a Docker container. So you won't be able to configure it and, you know, modify it too much. But um, yeah, you you can use now you can use. So it'll install kubectl also in your local machine. So you can just like, you know, deploy the jobs, deploy any container in the Kubernetes using kubectl and you can just play around with it. So like, yeah. so I'll just show you um, if kubectl is running in my system or not so if you just type cube ctl right it'll give you all the options so that means cube ctl is enabled in your system now you if you are using kubernetes with docker desktop just make sure that you set the context to docker desktop because it might happen that you are already using um, you know azure and you are connecting to azure kubernetes and from your local so your context might set to might be you know pointing to your um, Microsoft as your Kubernetes, right? In in like some of the environment. So just if you're testing it in your local environment, just set it to Docker desktop. So how you can do that? Just type kubectl, right? Uh, so I'll just show you. Just type kubectl get context, uh, kubectl config um, get context. So it'll give you all the context and then also it'll show like to which context you are right now pointing to, right? So if you are not on Docker desktop, if you are not using Docker desktop context already, you can use this command. So which is kubectl config use context Docker desktop. I'm going to um give these commands in the description below so you can just check it out there also and then um, yeah you can just play around with kubectls and then you can deploy your jobs and pods all right that's it for today's video thank you